Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today we're going to be checking the engine block ground on this vehicle to make sure it's grounded properly. So let's go ahead and get started. Now it's important that your engine block is grounded properly because that serves as the electrical foundation for your vehicle and it also ensures that you have a stable flow of current. If that's not grounded properly, you could have electrical malfunctions. In the case here, we're having an issue with an alternator. The alternator is testing fine, but we're still having some issues, and that's why we're testing this, because I want to make sure, because this alternator is mounted directly to the engine block, that's where it's getting its ground, but that's why we're going to be testing this, because the alternator voltage is kind of bouncing around, sometimes failing, sometimes coming back, but it is testing fine when it's bench tested. So we're going to head over here, we're going to take a look at this, and then we're going to dive into where this vehicle is grounded, make sure those are clean connections, make sure that there's no issues with the ground, and then make sure that everything is clean as well. If it's not a clean connection, you can also have an issue. But let me show you over here where the alternator gets mounted. Coming right in here. You'll see it. This is the mount. So you have the stud that goes through. The alternator slides on each side, kind of pinches that in, and then you secure the, the bolt right through there. So that's where it's getting its ground. That's what we're going to be testing. Now, if we come back here, this is our ground right here off the engine block. It goes on the back of the engine block, and then it's mounted right here to the body itself. We're going to be testing that as well. This is our alternator, and then this is where it slides onto that mount, and then the bolt goes through it. And it's not uncommon to have vehicles that are mounted directly to the engine block for the ground. Here's another vehicle, which is a Jeep Wrangler TJ. You can see that one is also mounted to the engine block as well for its ground. And if you've been watching uh, my channel for a while, you know we had some issues with the alternator to begin with, and it failed. If you want to see videos on how to test an alternator, how to do uh, the uh, um, voltage drop test, all that, battery, all that stuff, I'll have those links down in the description. But we did have issues with the alternator at first. Then we replaced it, and then we started having these issues. T uh, check some other things, because if you do have unstable voltage going to your alternator, in some cases it can do an overcharge, which can damage your battery with corrosion. If you want to see the video I did on battery corrosion where we explained all of that, you can check that out via the link above down in the description. But we're, here we are now at this point. I want to make sure that that's stable. Let's start checking this one. Before we start, I want to make sure that the ground on the battery is good. So we're going to set it to 20 volts. And we're going to put one lead on the negative post. And then we're going to ground it onto the car itself if we're getting any kind of voltage reading that's not good. So you want it pretty close to zero or zero. So we'll put it, well, first let's make sure everything's fine. So we'll put it here. You see we're getting around 13 volts because this battery's new, so that's good. Now we're gonna put one here on the negative post and then we're gonna ground it right here where our, our ground is coming in here. You can see it's at 0 .00. So we know that the ground to the battery is good. So that one checks out fine. Let's head over here to the alternator and now we're gonna switch it to ohms and head over here. So to test this, we have the mount where the alternator goes, as we've already seen. We're gonna to touch one side of it here because that's where it gets grounded. And then we have this bolt going into the frame. We're gonna ground off of that one too. So we'll put one here on that, and then we're gonna to touch one here. And then I'm gonna get a shot up here at the, at the multimeter so you can see what reading we're getting. And you can see we are Put hold on, let me move that, it shifted. Okay, it's bouncing around. So we are getting a zero, but if we move the lead on that mount, it goes to the one, it's bouncing around. As we saw already, it is kind of dirty. I'm gonna clean that off real good and we're gonna try again because we wanna make sure that it's, it's always going to be um, at zero. We don't want it to be changing at all because when the alternator's on there, you don't want that thing fluctuating and then that's gonna change the performance of that. We want it to be solid. And while we have everything here, I'm also going to test this grounding uh, connection right here from the engine block itself where it's mounted to the body. We want to make sure that that doesn't need to be replaced as well because that can also be an issue. So I'm going to bring the camera around here. We're going to test that while we're here and then we'll clean that off uh, that actual mounting area as well. First thing I'm going to do, we're going to set this to continuity. And basically what that is, is if these touch, 
you hear that little beep. We're gonna check one end to the other end of the grounding wire to make sure that we're getting solid continuity and that there's no break. So we'll put one here on this end. Bring this one back here. Oh, okay. There we go. So that's nice and solid. Sounds good. And if we do here, That sounds good as well. So it looks like this grounding connection here is good. I'm still gonna take it off and clean it real good. You wanna make sure that you have a nice clean connection. This one's been on here a while. Let me show you a close up. It's a little bit dirty. A Little bit, some surface dirt there. And then if we head back here, we can see where it connects in. So we're gonna just take that off, make sure that that's nice and clean and clear as well. I'm also gonna check it with the ohms meter, make sure that we're not getting any resistance because anything outside of the zero, you're getting some kind of resistance, you need to get that fixed. So we'll test it on the actual braided piece here first. And here's a close up of the multimeter on that. And then now we'll check here at the actual connection points as well. And here's a close up of that. All right, so it looks like our, our grounding wire here from the engine block to the body is testing out very good. Continuity is great. There's no resistance on the ohm, so that's good. It looks like our issue could be the dirt and not the clean connection for the alternator mount. So I'm gonna get a wire brush. We're gonna clean that real good and then we'll test it again before we put the alternator back in. And it's real good. Let's see if we can get here on this side. I might have to use some sandpaper on this side. Can't get that in also down here in the middle. So we get some sandpaper. You want to clean it very good. You want a nice clean metal to metal connection. On the alternator as well. All right, so everything is all cleared out. Scraped it, sanded it down. Nice, clear, clean metal so we have a nice solid connection. But let me get a close up here and you can see what it looks like. Look at that. Going through where the through bolt goes, nice and clean and shiny. Look, you can see the comparison there, how dirty it was to how clean it is now on that side. And let me see if I can get a shot on this other side for you to see it. But you can see that as well. You can see how clean that is. I cleaned that off as well. Even though the ground was testing fine, I figured while we're here, Let's get that all cleaned off so that way we have a nice clean metal to metal connection for this ground right here off the engine. All right, so the next thing we're gonna get the multimeter, we're gonna set it to ohms. And as we saw before, when I moved the lead around, we were kind of getting it bouncing around. I guess it was hitting some dirt and not a stable connection. Now with it all clear, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna set it to ohms. We're gonna move the lead around and make sure that it's a solid zero all around. So that way we know where the whole alternator is going over that to ground. Everything is clear and a nice solid ground. One here on the frame get a nice ground there then we're going to take this one and we're going to put it right here we're going to move it all around like this and make sure it's a stable zero we'll even check in here we'll go here on the inside same thing moving it around solid zero, not bouncing around like before. And as you saw, it's a nice steady zero ohms. We're not getting any reading like we did before. So it looks like we have it all nice and clean and no resistance. Now with everything checking out fine, we're gonna put the new alternator in. However, as I mentioned already, you wanna make sure the inside of your alternator, if it has any coating, it's got a nice bare metal connection to properly ground. Just scrape that off if need be, that way it's solid. But I'm gonna drop the new one in and then we'll test the car, check the voltage on it and see how it looks. You can see where I scraped all that coating off. That way it's the bare metal. Flip this over, I'll show you we did it on this side too. So you can see it. All nice and clear, so that way it bonds to the, uh, the mount nice and clean. Alternators put back in. 
everything is grounded properly. We're gonna do a quick test off of the housing here of the alternator. We're gonna put a lead here. We have it set to ohms, as you can see. We're gonna ground it up here. We know that's a solid ground. And you can see we're at zero ohms, just double checking to make sure that the alternator is grounded. Um, and then what I didn't mention earlier is if our ground to our engine was not good, you definitely wanna replace that. You wanna clear ground. Let's go ahead and start it up and check the voltage. Set to ohms, we'll do the engine ground first. And you can see we are at 0 .004, so that is definitely acceptable. You're gonna get a little bit of ohms in that with the engine running, and now we'll do it off the alternator. And we're at 0 .006, that looks great. Let's check the voltage now. Put it on, put it on 20 volts. See it here. check the battery. Now, with the alternator working properly, the battery should be up around 14 or so. There we are, 14.05. That's looking really good. Now we're going to test the alternator. We're going to get a, a reading right here off the positive lead where it connects to the battery. Be careful for the, the belt and then we'll ground it up here. And you can see our alternator is running at 14.1. So we're getting 14.1 off the alternator itself. And 14.05, which the battery is usually just a little bit lower. So it looks like everything is working good. Let's take the first spin. Okay, as we saw, everything looked good. The voltage was running great, alternator functioning properly. So that wraps up this video on testing and checking the ground at the engine. Just to recap what we did, first we started off by checking the ground connection there to the battery off the negative post. Everything was great. We then checked the connection from the engine itself to the body of the vehicle, that ground that was set up. Everything checked fine as well. We checked the continuity. We also checked the ohms on that. Everything was zero. Cleaned it anyway, even though it was fine just because it looked a little bit aged. We then discovered that the mount where the alternator grounds to was very gunked up and dirty. And as we were kind of moving our, our ohms and moving the lead around, we were getting it bouncing around from zero to some other numbers in there showing that it wasn't solid. We cleaned it off real good, got a solid zero reading all around, cleaned the alternator as well, connected everything, checked it off of the alternator itself. The ground was perfect, and as we saw, everything was fine. So I hope this video was informative for you. I hope it helped you out with maybe any issues you're having with the grounding of your engine. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please send them in. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.